Hey everybody, happy Sunday. Uh, Dorothea is going to be joining us. Um, so we're excited to pray with her. And today we celebrate the Feast of St. Agatha, who is a patron of healing from diseases of the breast nurse, breast, uh, oh, and of nurses. <laughs> I totally slid into that one. Um, and then a quote from her, Jesus Christ, Lord of all things, you see my heart, you know my desires, possess all that I am, you alone. In our intentions. Good morning. Hi, Laura. Um, there she is. I'm Cody. And then, um, from Anne, hopefully this works. Hopefully I see her. Good morning. Good morning. I love this. Um, you like to joke. You like to joke that God's all going to put you in a whale. Oh I'm yeah. Like, I think that's like. <laughs> I'm just like that's awesome. So <laughs> I'm excited you're here this morning. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to pray with y'all. Yes. Yes. It's beautiful. Um, I was sharing our intentions uh, for this morning. Um, again, Ruth asked us to pray for her son, Cody. And then from Anne, she's asked for us to pray for a special intention for her daughter, Claire. Mm -hmm. And then from Debbie, she's asked for prayers for healing and strength for those uh, fighting addictions um, of all kinds. Amen. And so I just want to pray for you, pray for everyone here, um, and uh, both for Attention said and unsaid, is there anything specific you'd like to pray for? Yes, um, I would love to pray for what I, I call it the forgotten. Um, mm -hmm. So I want to pray especially for the persecuted Christians across the world. Pray for priests, the souls in purgatory, and the lonely. And all the people who don't get a lot of prayers want to pray for them. I love that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, well, we'll just go ahead and, and start. Okay. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From whence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For our Holy Father and his intentions we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity, we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. And the first glorious mystery is the resurrection. Somewhere in the night, the crucified one stepped out of the empty grave with the fire of victory in his heart and an unconquerable joy in his soul as he definitively triumphed over sin and death. Jesus told Mary Magdalene, but go to my brothers and sisters and tell them, I'm going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery is the Ascension. After his glorious resurrection, Jesus encouraged his disciples and built up their faith, presenting himself alive to them by many proofs, appearing and speaking about the kingdom of God. His final blessing gave his disciples peace, favor, strength, and grace to carry out the mission and vision of the kingdom. They were reminded of Jesus' words, And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that, so that where I am, you will also be. Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, oh my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. And the third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit. After the ascension, Mary and the disciples were praying together in one place, as Jesus had instructed them. Early Pentecost morning, there came a noise like a strong driving wind that filled the whole house. Tongues of the fire appeared, parted, and rested on each of them. All were filled with the Holy Spirit, and now they could go forth in power, for the Comforter had come. Come, Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. <coughs> blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. And the fourth glorious mystery is this, the Assumption of Mary. The church teaches that Mary, the mother of Jesus, was taken up body and soul into heaven after the completion of her earthly life. 
Because of her immaculate conception, Mary was freed from the consequences of original sin. Mary is both the sign of what heaven holds for us and also a mother to help us get there. In the words of St. Paul, just as we have borne the image of the earthly one, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly one. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. In the fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of Mary. The rosary begins with Isaiah's sign, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son. It ends by encouraging us to look to Mary, the woman clothed with the son. Mary is not only mother, but also queen of the universe, reigning now with her son, rewarded by God for being his most faithful disciple. Our father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary. 
are you full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, the eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, by your only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Dorothea, do you want to lead the St. Michael prayer? Sure. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. That was so fun. <laughs> I'm just so glad everything like technology cooperated and um, it's just so, so wonderful to be able to connect with you. Um, do you, we, where are you located? So right now I am in Connecticut. Okay. I'm working on a, I'm on a contract here for work, but originally I'm from Florida. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Was, like, um, but we always love to ask about your experience with the rosary. Um, maybe how you learned about it, learned it, um, how it's helped you on your faith journey, um, anything you care to share. Absolutely. Um, so my story with the rosary is a little bit interesting because I'm a cradle Catholic, born and raised, and it's always been a prayer in my family and in my life. And Our Lady has always been present in my life. But interestingly, I never really had a very good relationship with her. It's not that we had a bad relationship. We just didn't have a relationship mm -hmm. at all. And, and it kind of was like that for most of my life until there was a period where I went through a lot of suffering. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember just begging God to relieve me of this suffering because it was, it was really, it was really, really unbearable at this one point. And it was also suffering I had told nobody about. So no one was praying for me. I decided I was going to handle it entirely by myself. <laughs> and <laughs> and I don't recommend that. No, um, it's a hard lesson to learn. <laughs> <laughs> and so it had been going on for months and months and months. It might have even been, you know, years at this point. It's honestly kind of a blur this whole period of time in my life. But I remember that there was one time, there was one night, it was the middle of the night, and I was just, it was, I was hurting so badly. And I was crying hysterically on my living room floor, and I was just like rocking back and forth. And I was like, Lord, please save me from this. Like, I cannot handle it anymore. Like, I can't do it anymore. 
and I didn't hear an answer to that prayer. And so after a while, I just kind of worked my way to the couch and I was exhausted from crying. I was exhausted from suffering. I was just tired. It was the middle of the night. And, um, and I was just laying on my couch and I just like cried out and I was like, mom, I was like, I was like, pray for me because I can't, I can't do this anymore. And I remember that moment for two reasons. One is because it was the first time I had ever called Mary mom mm. in my entire life. It was the first time I had ever really been willing to enter into a relationship with her. And I also remember it because in that exact moment, the suffering left me. Mm. Um, and so it was immediate how once I turned to her intercession, God relieved me of that suffering. And I, and I love that that whole experience because even though it's incredibly painful i think about you know the suffering god allows to have in our lives and and how long it lasted and how much i had wanted god to relieve me of it but i also realized after that you know god had always intended to relieve me of the suffering but if he had relieved it even a second earlier it would have deprived me of the relationship that i now have with our lady like he needed me to get to that point where i asked her for help because he wanted me to have his mom mm -hmm. and Ever since then, Our Lady has just, she has been the strength of my relationship with Christ. Like, and she's, she's just been following me. Like she, I'm, I'm consecrated to Our Lady of the Rosary. That's the title under which I'm consecrated. And, you know, whenever I was experiencing periods of dryness in my faith, um, like there was a period of time I just, I was going to mass, but I wasn't receiving the Eucharist. It was just a very dry period of time. And the interesting thing is that when you stop receiving the Eucharist, you kind of stop wanting to receive the Eucharist. Mm. And so it was just this really weird period of dryness, but I always prayed my rosary. And so I kept going to mass and I kept praying my rosary and Our Lady just kept bringing me back to her son, like no matter the dryness, no matter what was happening. She was just like, we're just gonna move you back over here. Mm -hmm. And she's just been the strength of my relationship with Christ. And so no matter what's going on, I don't always pray the rosary well. <laughs> there are times it's like 1145 and I'm like, well, we best get started. But um, but she's, she's just, She's always kept me strong and kept me close to her son. So it's just been the strength. It's been the strength of my life. So right now I'm trying to learn how to pray it in Latin because I feel like that would be cool. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, it is cool. <laughs> I don't do um, like the introductory prayers. Like I, I have to have the sheet in front of me. And yeah, but and a lot of times when I'm praying the rosary, it's always like I'm bad because I just run around and I'm in the car or whatever. And so if I don't have it, I don't, anyways, yeah. The Latin, it's so beautiful though. Um, it is, it's so beautiful. And I love how you said, <laughs> one thing um, we can all guarantee after praying the rosary, Mary will never leave. <laughs> She'll keep bringing you back. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so yeah, it's so beautiful. So what, um, how did you, do you typically um, write? Is that your like, your career, your writer? No, so actually it's a God in the whale kind of story. Um, I was working in, um, I was working in, in marketing operations for a nonprofit in Florida. It was this amazing nonprofit, Christian nonprofit. I still love them to this day, but I stumbled across this posting for a live-in nanny and in Connecticut for a year. And I was just like, oh, that's nice for whoever. I mean, I have a job. So I didn't really think about it, but God kept putting it on my heart to think about it more and more. And it made no sense. Like I own a house in Florida. It's absolutely like senseless for me to be like, I'm just going to uproot my life and move to Connecticut. But that's what he asked me to do. And he's just been so generous and he's been so clear that this is where he wants me for whatever, whatever reasons, like I'm doing my best to serve this family. And, um, and, and I, I hope I'm doing a good job. I, I trust that he's blessing it and doing whatever, but people are like, so why did you do this? And I'm like, I don't know. They're like, what are you going to do next? And I'm like, I don't know. I love that. I love that so much. Because like, I think like uh, we, people expect us to have it all figured out. And I just love your trust because that's, that's incredible. So how do you, um, how do you think God's going to put you in a whale? Well, I kind of like feel like I'm in a whale currently because I have no idea where I'm going next. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it's just the, the, the reason I make that joke is because God has always been very um, obvious and hilarious when he wants me to do something. Like, I remember there was a time that I was working at this company and God really wanted me to pray for this one person. Mm -hmm. And it was such an amazing experience because I had so much love for this person that didn't make any sense because I didn't know them. But it was, it was literally like God had given me his love for this person. And I just had so much love for them. So I like needed to pray for them all the time. And God was just constantly like, pray for them, pray for them, pray for them. And I, I like understanding things. So I'm like, okay, but why? 
Like, are they dying? What's, what's going on? This is a very weird experience. Wow. And, and it was so strange. And, and so it just, it lasted for like a year of just God being like, no, I'm going to give you my love for this person. You need to pray for them. And I remember that the God's going to put me in a real part. It happened because there was one weekend I was going on vacation. I was like, you know, Lord, this whole experience, I'm trying, but it's very strange. And I, I had spoken to my spiritual director about it. Like I had spoken to a lot of people about it. Cause I'm like, this whole experience is very weird. Um, and I was like, I'm just going to take the weekend and, and, uh, and just like kind of take a break from praying for them. I'll be back on Monday. I was just going to be gone for like two days. And literally in that moment, a car cuts me off and it's the per the name of the car is the name of the person that God had asked me to pray for. So literally in that moment, like I was cut off by a car and I had to stare at that person's name for the first, for the rest of the time that I was driving. And so their name just started like popping up on things. Like they're the name of several local restaurants, a household appliance, a car, like their name is just everywhere. And, um, and so it's just so funny. It's stuff like that where God's like, no, I really want you to do this. And I'm like, okay, I guess, I guess we're just gonna keep doing this then. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm just, I'm just like, you know what, Lord, you're in charge. I'm, I'm here for the ride. <laughs> Yes, I love that. I love that. And and you have surrendered to that. That's what's so beautiful. We all say, I need to surrender. I need to trust. And I'm like, mm, as I'm like hanging on. <laughs> well, I mean, there are definitely ways that I still hang on. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, I'm just, that's so impressive. Like, do you, what, what helped you get there? Because that's, that's incredible. Was it like kind of the suffering? Like you said, you were in a lot of pain, you know? Um, yeah, I mean, I think that suffering over different experiences in my life has just taught me to trust God and God's goodness. And God has been so abundantly generous. Mm -hmm. And I, I credit that a lot to my family life because my family is very Catholic. And so very, and I say that very deeply religious, like my, my grandparents were very deeply religious. My parents are very deeply religious. And so they built this home environment where God was present and welcome and had a place. And so we were always just kind of seeing things through the lens of how God is working in our lives and, and talking about it too. We would talk about how God is working in our lives and we would be willing to share our sufferings and share what God has done. And, and after a while, it, it's always hard in the moment, you know, like mm -hmm. there, there are plenty of times when I'm suffering or when I'm experiencing a pain or a wound or something that I haven't completely surrendered to God. Right. That I'm like it's that it's very difficult and I stop trusting God and I have to remind myself to trust God and have to remind myself to do all this stuff. And, and one thing that's been very helpful, it's, it's something that, um, that I think they do at Passover. I think the Jews do at Passover, the ancient Israelites definitely did, but it's, it's the whole day. They say what God did for them in their life, right? They're like, they're like God who led us out of the land of Egypt who you know, brought us into this new land. And, and, and that's been helpful for me to remind myself. It's like when I'm struggling and I, and I really have no idea what I'm doing, I remind myself, I'm like, but God did this for me and God did that for me. And you know what else? God did this for my mom and he did this for my dad in really obvious ways and reminding myself God has done so much because you forget when you're in the suffering, right? right. I think it's like a couple of things. I think it's learning how to trust in him through suffering. But then also when you're out of that major suffering where it's very easy to be like, Lord, you're my everything because I need you to be everything. To just remind yourself of every time that he's been there for you. Um, because he has been. And and when I look at the just the evidence of, of how he works in my life, I'm just like, how could I not trust you? You know, you're so good. Yeah. So that's so beautiful. It doesn't always stop so beautiful. me. There are so many times I don't trust him, but I'm working on <laughs> No, but I think that's so helpful because I think um, my sister and I, if you heard our conversations daily, we're always like trying to come back to that, to living in the present with God. It, because I don't, we always think, is it our, is our, is it our, is it our thoughts? Is it just how we're wired our brains? Because, you know, you're kind it, it, it doesn't feel habitual for me. If like, I, I always have to like work to do that. Like it's not my instinctive. I don't know. So hearing you, I'm like, oh wow, that's incredible. So <laughs> you know, it's it's so true. Like we all we all experience that. And and something that God has put on my heart lately a lot is that because there are times like I'm praying, but I don't always feel praying. You know, I don't always oh, feel yeah. like praying. I feel like doing something. And God's just like, just keep coming, just mm -hmm. keep coming. And and when we just come. Like, even when we don't feel it, even when I say, Jesus, I trust in you, and it's not true. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's an aspirational, it's not always a prayer of reality. It's a prayer of sometimes of aspiration. Like I aspire to trust in you. Yes. And, and just leave it all.
well to him. I've, I've learned, I've learned the hard way and through many whales that, you know, you can't do it on your, you can't do it on your own. You have to let him take the lead. Yes. Yes. It's so beautiful. Okay. Last question. Do you have a favorite saint? I have so many favorite <laughs> saints. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. It's so hard to pick one. Isn't it? Um, yes. It's so hard. I can't even, um, I'll go with my confirmation saint, which is St. Felicity of Rome. Um, that's the story of St. Felicity and her seven sons. And um, so the, the story, it's, she's an ancient martyr in the church. So the story is a, is a story um, because it's so old. They're not, you can't validate so much. Um, but the story behind her is that she was a Christian woman, a very well-respected Christian woman in Rome. And she had seven sons and they found out that she was a Christian. And so they martyred her, but they also martyred all of her sons in front of her. Basically, she had to watch all of her sons be martyred for the faith. And they all were, they all proclaimed their faith in God. Um, and I just remember loving her strength and courage because I can't imagine anything harder than a mother having to watch her children um, be martyred for the faith and then retaining that strength to, and to be martyred yourself. And so just the complete surrender, there's nothing stronger, I think, than the maternal instinct to protect your children. Right. And so the fact that she was able to even sacrifice that to God um, and, and even before her own life is just, was always so inspiring to me. Wow. So she's amazing. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> like, whoa, <laughs> That's so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for Because I think we all needed to be reminded of her. St. Philistine? Philistine? Oh, yep. St. Philistine of Rome. Wow. Wow. Anytime I, I, you're, we're always learning new ones. Like, you know, how you think you kind of have a lot of them and you learn more. So. It's beautiful. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for, for thank you so much and sharing your light. And I hope you have a blessed Sunday. Thank you. And thank you so much for doing this. I think what you guys do is amazing. It's just so beautiful. Oh, we just can all the Holy Spirit. Praise God. <laughs> so ain't all of Caroline's help. <laughs> thank you. Bye guys. Have a great day. Bye.